All right, guys, we're back working for Chow at Chow Repo, and uh, yeah, we had to move him in yesterday, but I brought my cat here. He's gonna he's gonna hang out with me, watch guard when I'm repoing some. Uh, I'm actually repoing Teslas today. I have two Teslas to repo. I got a Model X and a Model. Is it Model Y? No, no. Let me. It might be. I think it's Model S. But where we're heading to is a Tesla charging station. I guess it's not a Tesla charging station. I actually think it's like a city electric vehicle charging station. I was trying to figure this out. I've driven by. I heard or I read it in the newspaper that they're making one. Okay. I don't think it's a right. Is it a right, Tom? Okay. No, he says it's keep going straight. He says I'm going to stop at Burger King here soon. Get me a Whopper or two. I'm getting kind of hungry. Maybe, maybe once we get the jobs done, we'll come back. But okay. My phone says I missed the turn. I was actually supposed to take it right back there. Here we go. So today Chow told me to take that F550. So we're taking it's the, I believe it's a 2015. <laughs> it has the widest or the longest wheelbase you can possibly get. And honestly, in my opinion, the flatbed seems a little too big for this truck as you can tell it overhangs the wheelbase quite a bit i love the toolboxes on here and the mud flaps are hilarious we put uh we put a picture of tom back there let's hang it right here okay this is it yeah so like a billionaire in town gave up some of his land for the for the city to put this little gravel lot with the charging station on it so that's kind of what we're looking at there. It looks like there's actually here. Let me pull it. I got to show you guys something. Here we go. Here it is. And then this is the road to the billionaire's house. It looks like, and this is the charging lot. Everybody goes to a restaurant or like a cafe just right over here in that yellow house. It looks like a house, but it's actually a cafe with the, uh, with the chimney going. All right. So we're repoing this model X, this white one. And we have a, um, a model S that we have to repo. Let's go ahead and get this unfolded, but it's not here right now. I'm, I'm actually not too sure exactly. Where that one is i gotta talk to chow here's that truck we repoed like a month ago and i i don't know if it's the same one i suspect it is holy business okay i need to figure out where does chow keep his hook tom where's the hook man i need the hook to to hook onto the onto the tesla and then i can lift it in the back here all right i had the reposition we're letting the the bed come down now and i also had to turn on the lights what if i do it i didn't turn on the flasher so i gotta unplug this figure out how this works i never mess around with teslas too much i i, I want to uh, i want to drive one for sure especially i have actually driven that monster truck but i don't really count that as a normal tesla so let's go ahead and unplug this there we go we got the winch attached there we go she's coming up she's coming up here we go okay the winch is struggling a little bit these are pretty heavy there we go i think she's on she's on good thing honestly these these cars are way bigger once you get them up on here and i just realized there's a you should probably hurry up but there's a two-seater in the back so you can fit one two three four that's five seven people holy biscuits all right there we go she's strapped down tom are we good i think tom walked around the truck real quick and made sure but oh there's actually the john deere so that's a city okay i i need to stop stop talking so much we need to get out of here just in case the person comes back because they're at uh here i'm gonna drive by this cafe lay on the horn just let them know that they uh they missed their car payments there we go just laid on the horn but that's actually a cafe it looks like a house you can kind of see there's picnic table outside and stuff all right let's get out of here i didn't see anybody i think everybody was inside but tom we did a good job man so we got this sucker all loaded up there we go going over the bridge but the truck's doing a good job this car i actually looked it up is 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 very heavy it's a lot heavier than our typical ones i think it's because the battery's in there and it weighs quite a bit but let's keep heading out here i'm going to take this back to the shop put it inside our uh our first bay i think the first bay's open all right come on car keep her moving man this is a uh usually people in town here are flying this guy's it must be a grandma or grandpa or something oh my no he's going my way he literally just came out from that way oh biscuits and gravy she seems like she's holding in just fine. Not, uh, I strapped it down good, so it's not not throwing me around. Okay, I'm going to pass this guy. Move it or lose it, sister. Oh, what? Now he's speeding up? Oh, my goodness. Who is that? That guy's like a middle-aged guy. Why was he going so slow? And then he's speeding up like he's mad at me. What was that about? But anyway, like I said, heading back up to the mountains, up to the Charles Repo Shop. We'll drop it off in the garage, and then we, we're doing a Model S. I got to look on the paperwork, get the VIN number, and try and figure out where the person lives and, and try and figure out where the car is. So I will see you guys once we get back. And there we go. We're back in business. So this next one, the guy actually works in the same city, in the same area. He works at like a equipment dealer, I think, or equipment rental place where you can rent out equipment. I think they actually do like tractors, construction equipment, trailers stuff like that so i'm heading down there now and he 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 works there so i'm gonna first see i might drive by his house first actually and then we'll go to his work and see if uh see if the car's there it's a red model s 
It said it's the performance edition, so if I can get my hands on her, I'll drive her probably at the shop, just make sure everything's working good. So plan is let's stop at his house and then we'll go to his uh, his work. And again, we got a slow driver. This place isn't too far. It looks like we got a traffic jam up here or an accident. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep, we got an accident. It looks like that cement truck. Holy cow. Hit like a little, like a smart car. That's not good. Okay, can we get out of here? Yeah, let's go this way. That's not good, Tom. There was an accident and we almost we almost got stuck in it. Good thing nobody came behind us and boxed us in. I probably would have threw on my flashers and uh, kept going. Okay, this is all backed up too. Gosh, dang it. This is a one-way street. I'm going to try squeeze in between this guy. Here we go. Sorry, buddy. I, hopefully I don't hit his car. Oh, here come more cars going the other way. Gosh, dang it. Move it or lose it. There we go. I can slip in between them. What is this guy doing? All right, we made out. It's not a one way anymore and we should be good. There we go. I think a lot of people were turning around once they saw me turn around. But like I said, we're going to hit his house and it probably won't be there because it's the middle of the day unless he's not working. All right, this guy lives right here to the right. I'm actually going to throw all my lights on, put my hazards on. Okay, then because I, I, I couldn't really pull in, didn't want to hit any hedges. He lives in this yellow house right here, which is there's only a moped. Looks like there's two people that live in this house. Yeah, I don't see anything and there's no garage. So that actually would have been nice if his car was there. Besides, it would be kind of tough to pull in, but I bet I could have went over this curb, backed around it. I mean, it would have been a, like a five point turn, but at least there was no garage for the car to hide in. So let's head to his work. Most likely, usually it's always at, at the place of work, but I'm hoping it's, it's going to be equipment dealer. He's maybe going to work in the office. And me pulling in with a tow truck is gonna is gonna look oh no don't go that way there's the accident okay i gotta backtrack here but me pulling in with tow truck is gonna look completely normal at that place all right here we go i've never been to this place but it's uh it looks like it sells john deere as well as other case ih cat okay yeah this is the place for sure let's pull in here oh gosh there's the uh there's the model s why does he have it parked right there it looks like somebody a few workers are working on a tractor there we go. There's a lady looking at me, but yeah, there's a few workers. I better, uh, I, I didn't throw my lights on. We're going to get attached here. Dude, this thing is sick. This is the performance model. I can tell like even look the caliber on the brakes is red matches the in. Oh, uh, I get the interior is all black. That is, that is cool. All right, let's get hooked up here and then we'll get them loaded. There we go. Got them exactly where I want him. I was thinking this was going to be a smaller car, but honestly, this car is huge. There we go. It's loaded. Going to throw some straps down. There's one, two. That should be fine. Two is good. <laughs> Let's get out of here. It looks like that truck. Why does that truck have no wheels? That's an old. Is that? That's a. That's got to be a 97. It's got the OBS and it probably has a 7.3 liter power stroke in it. And that's a rollback too. Dang, that would be a. Uh, that would be a good addition. At least they kind of like a throwback retro. It would be fun to maybe I'll buy that from the place. But let's slip out of here. We've gotten so lucky recently. We've had nobody chase after us. Nothing crazy. I actually think the last chase was the uh, was the cyber truck, that huge one that you saw lifted at the charging station. But we're heading back. I got to jump on the interstate. And we'll take this Model S back. But we slipped in and out of there nice and easy. But it looks sick. It's a uh, it's pretty neat looking car. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like I said, we got pretty lucky. I was it, sometimes it's fun to actually get chased a little bit, but that's right. Probably not good to get chased at the guy's place of business with all his workers. That he could get on me. But there's the billionaire's house again. That's pretty sick. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. And I'll see you all in the next one.